Okay, hello and welcome back. Chris here and in this video I'm going to talk about the payola opportunity and why you should be so excited about it. Because you're about to make money in a fun and easy way and if you've been trying to make money online for more than just a few minutes, you'll know that most make money opportunities are neither fun nor easy, whereas this is both of those. And so what you're going to be doing is helping music fans find and enjoy, get more pleasure out of their favourite songs, artists and genres. And it's not only a very simple method to follow, it's also a very low competition method, as you'll see in just a second, because there are so many songs and so many artists. In some cases, there is literally zero competition on the internet. So we are going to be the only listing, the only opportunity really for these particular songs and these artists. And what we're going to do is we're going to get easy free traffic by ranking on Google for some of these songs, some of these artists. And then we're going to sell music merchandise off the back of those free listings. And the whole process can be done in just a few minutes per day. And all of this is possible because of the AI algorithm, which is inside of all of these music streaming, uh, music streaming services, Spotify, YouTube, Google Music, Pandora, Apple Music. For all of these, the AI is basically creating the demand. So it's the, the AI is what is going out and actually bringing traffic, bringing intent, bringing interest to these artists and these songs, much in the same way that a, a DJ or a, a radio host would have done in the past. And then what we're going to do is to take advantage of that traffic, that demands, that interest, and turn it into traffic sales and commissions. So what exactly is the payola opportunity? Well, in the olden days, and by the olden days, I really mean the 20th century, there was something called payola, and it was absolutely massive. It was rampant. And essentially what would happen is DJs and radio hosts would break a new song. So they'd play the songs that they like, but they would also, for some of the music, they would take kickbacks and kind of money under the table from record labels, publishers, managers, etc. And it was called payola. Now, in the 2020s, this doesn't really apply as much in the same way because all music is discovered on these huge streaming services. And so the AI algorithm basically acts as the DJ and throws people's attention across a massive range of millions and millions of songs. And just to put this in context in terms of the, the number of people that are on these platforms, on Spotify there's a total of 365 million users across both free and paid accounts, of which 165 million are paid and premium. Apple Music has 72 million, YouTube Music with 50 million, and that was last year, it's probably close to 70 now. And then there's so many other ones, there's Pandora, Tidal, Google Play Music, Amazon Prime Music, etc., etc. But the one thing that all of these music streaming platforms have in common is that the AI decides what songs to recommend based on the tracks that that particular person has played, liked, put on a playlist, etc., etc. And so essentially what's happening is that each user is getting a highly tailored uh, playlist with what I call a massive long tail of songs. It's not like in the olden days where everyone was listening to the same stuff on the um, on the charts, wherever the radio played. Now there's just so much interest across so many artists and so many different songs. And yet the content, the music journalism world, world hasn't caught up with that. And so there's a lot of demand for a lot of these underground artists, which hasn't really been sated. And we're going to come in and do that and, and use it to get free traffic and make money. And so in 2021, the money is in the long tail because there's so many of these songs and artists that none of the music journalists, none of the music websites have a chance to keep up, really. So just to throw some numbers at you, there are 60,000 songs added to Spotify every single day. That's over 2,000 an hour. I don't know, is that 40 every single minute? So that's one every one and a half second or so. Spotify already has over 70 million songs from 8 million different artists. And for a music journalist to cover each artist in their entire life, they would basically have to write about one every 30 seconds. And there's over 2 million songs with over 100,000 streams as well on Spotify. So it's not just a case of loads and loads of songs that no one's listening to. A lot of these songs have real interest. And then when you include all of the other services, then that number is probably closer to 4 million songs with over 100,000 streams. Likewise, on Spotify, there are 1.2 million artists with more than 1,000 listeners. And again, when you include all the other services, that number is probably close to 2 million. 
So the next question is, how can we take advantage of this? Well, the first thing to note is, I've thrown a lot of numbers at you, but when it comes to music, it's not just about the raw numbers and the traffic and the demand. It's also about the passion because music fans are highly engaged, in particular with any underground unknown artists and songs that they feel only they know about. And so they'll typically search for lyrics, songs, music videos, concerts, news, merchandise, basically anything that they can find for these artists. But there's almost zero competition and almost zero content apart from a handful of sites such as Shazam. Now, for those who don't know, Shazam is a music app which allows you to basically find songs that you don't know about. So if you're in like a restaurant or something and you hear a song, but you don't know what the song is, you hit the button on Shazam, it records the song and then it tells you what the name of the song is. And the reason I bring Shazam up is if you look at Shazam, they actually have listings for all of the songs that they um, have got in their database. And there's basically nothing on a Shazam page apart from the song itself. And yet despite that, they actually have over 10 million results on Google and they're ranking in the top 20 for over 700,000 keywords. So there's, you know, very, very thin affiliate sites. That's basically what Shazam is. It's just an affiliate site. And yet they're getting a ton of traffic, literally millions and millions of clicks by just being there when no one else is there. And all of this means that we can easily rank number one and get free Google traffic with zero work and not only get tons of traffic, but also make money because these fans are really so hungry and engaged that we can actually turn that traffic into monetization. And the way we're going to do that is by selling merchandise about the song, about the artist, about the genre that that person is interested in. Interested in. And all of this is done automatically using a series of apps, but in particular two apps, the Payola website builder and the Merch Maker. So that covers it for the opportunity. In the next video, I'll actually look at the steps and then we'll start to dive into the software. So I'm really excited to see you get results with Payola and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.